what is even going on with my hair i don't even i don't even hi guys i hope you're all well so i just thought i'd have a little go at trying to do a bit of a vlog just let's just lighten everyone's spirits you know let's let you have a look at what this situation is looking like for me so i know most of us are in the position where we're not going out i personally obviously i work from home my boyfriend works from home we live together so we're self-isolating together to be honest in terms of work and that kind of setup not a lot has changed we're both very used to being around each other a lot in the day don't get me wrong i still want to kill him a lot of the time but we're kind of used to it and whereas i know for a lot of people this all of a sudden you've got so much more time on your hands and it could feel a little bit scary not knowing what to do i thought i'd just start trying to do a few vlogs this might be my one and only vlog let's just see how this one goes down so let's just put a little bit of good vibes out there also oh, can we just address something really quickly my fingernails look like actual spoons i know it's very trivial compared to what is going on in the rest of the world but it's getting to the point where these need to come off i have actually ordered a gel like kit and i don't know how i'm gonna get on with them because I've, I've never been good at doing my own nails to be honest i've only started getting my nails done in the last two years i used to be such a tomboy i grew up around horses so the only thing i really had on my fingernails was horse poo and now i've become this high maintenance person that's gonna have a little meltdown because i can't get my nails done also my hair i put it in a scruffy bun on my head and i've obviously showered with it in the bun and i've not bothered taking the bun out and i've left it in all day and now it looks like this i literally don't know what to do with it i think i'm gonna have to straighten it so so far i feel like i've been doing okay if anything this whole thing has made me realize how much of a homebody i am i just really love being in my house in my home don't get me wrong i really love to go out for some food and you know to see see some friends but i don't really get you know much cabin fever being at home i'm quite grateful that we can still go out you know for exercise so we've got the dog desi so we go out every day and take her for a nice long walk and i think just being able to do that it's not affecting me too much having to stay at home but it's just it's a transition i've just been getting on with some work trying to film a few more videos for youtube so i have been doing a lot more sort of playing with makeup i really enjoy playing with makeup anyway I find that if I'm feeling anxious or just a little bit at a loss of what to do, I really enjoy just putting something on Netflix or watching YouTube and just playing with makeup. So today I had a little play with the KKW and Mario palette. I think it's called The Artist and the Muse. And I just did, if I show you, but I just did a really fluffy brow and then just a bit of a soft daytime kind of glam. I mean, um, am I going anywhere? No. This is probably the perfect time just to practice. If it goes wrong, you're not going anywhere. It doesn't matter. It comes off. Also, another thing that I am semi-dreading is I know full well that my extensions are going to have to come out. I think they've probably got another two, maybe three weeks at push life left in them. And... I really don't like my hair with that extension. My hair's just so thin, but it will probably it will probably be good to have them out and give my hair a bit of a break. But yeah, it, that's going to be a transition for sure. But yeah, what else am I doing today? Why is it so bright? I'm so sorry. But the sun has decided to come in and ruin everything. I've also got the rest of a YouTube video to film as well. So the other day I filmed a loungewear haul, which will already be up by now. But I just need to film the sort of try-on clips for it. In terms of continuity, I'm going to have different hair in the try-on clips. But it's fine. It's just sometimes when I've stood in front of the lights and filmed a video. And then I have to put them all away. Because I film everything in this room. So this is kind of like my office slash... It's not really a dressing room. I don't keep clothes in here. It's kind of my office slash getting ready room. So I sit, do my makeup in here. I film my YouTube videos in here. Take most of my photos in here. So when I've got all the lights set up and the camera set up for filming my haul, when it comes to doing the try-on pieces in the mirror, I have to put all the lights down again. And sometimes I just haven't got strength. Sometimes I'm just feeling lazy, I haven't got the strength, so I just film it on a different day. So, yeah, this is where we are now. So I'll probably check in with you 
a little bit later. When my hair's not looking so shit. Also, I am dying because I put on my Instagram stories about my nails looking like spoons because they are so so desperate to be sorted out and now everyone is sending me pictures of their spoon nails look at these look at those these ones oh, oh that makes my bum clench look, i'm just so glad i am not the only one struggling so we need red onion bread cheese Don't mind me, I'm just peeling my lashes off while sat in the car park. So the plan was for me and Andy to come to the shops. Andy was gonna pop in, grab the bits that we needed. I was gonna sit in the car because I didn't get to go for my walk with Desi today. Andy took her by himself because I had loads of work that I had to get done. And so I just kind of came for a ride in the car as I said, I weren't going to get out and go into the shop. Andy was going to nip in and oh my God, the queue across the car park. I'm just sat here looking at it now. It lit it goes further than the car park. Like, what the hell? It's absolute madness. I can't believe how many people are here queuing just to go in the shop. I feel like I'm going to be sat here for a little while. Day. so you might remember me saying that I had some stuff to film <sighs> what happened was I basically filmed everything I needed to film came to sit and edit it this morning and realized that I had been holding the camera in portrait which for YouTube is a big no-no obviously you have to hold it in landscape I don't know why I did it the amount of times I've filmed those kind of videos is ridiculous but I must have had a total brain fart and just did it wrong for every single outfit so I had to basically get up and film it again which was not fun but it's fine it's done now so I'm about to have some lunch now and then we're gonna go and take Desi on a really nice walk because the weather is really really nice you can probably see in here sun is shining really lovely so we're going to take her on a nice long walk and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to try and edit my video and get that done. So a bit annoying, not the best, but life goes on. Mm. You go for walkies. <laughs> come on, let's go. Want to be the person that you call up when you're down. Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you And I wanna show you something new You gotta know Every day I got your back, yeah, you can count on me for that so put your hand in mine, I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb, I will make sure it's okay Oh, you didn't ask for any of this, but we <laughs> Stop! I do love a man that can cook Like a girlfriend that can cook, so if there's any out there, let me know <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Come on babe <laughs> It's my dinner for tonight. <laughs> That's nice. And then this is pudding. Give me a paw. Yeah. 
so tonight for dinner we are having the jamie oliver insanity burgers so andy found this recipe a little while ago i think this is our what third time having these third, yeah. third time having these they're so good when you really fancy a naughty cheat meal and obviously we're stuck in the house we can't go have a cheeky mcdonald's or five guys or anything so these burgers they're actually unreal aren't they so this is basically like a make your own um, almost like a big mac sauce it tastes so so nice then you put like melted cheese on this bacon um, we've made our own like beef patties there. Oh, shit, bacon! I forgot the bacon. Oh, <laughs> nearly forgot the bacon. Got the onions there. That they're in some white wine vinegar now. Um, and yeah, I'll show you them when they're done. Okay, so I know it doesn't look much like a Big Mac, but trust me, this tastes so much better. Morning, guys. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm in the middle of doing my makeup, so I look a bit crazy in the middle of baking my face. Um, but just wanted to check in because I realised I hadn't said hello today. Oh my god, it is very hot in this room. Oh my god, that's better. So what is the plan up today? I need to shoot a couple of bits. Um, it's a bit weird shooting at the minute because obviously not being able to go outside. My Instagram feeds look a little bit different because shooting everything inside which to be honest i thought i would hate but it's actually not been that bad i don't mind it and also i'm quite enjoying having the time to do a few more sort of makeup looks on instagram and i do want to eventually start doing some tutorials on youtube um so let me know if you would want to see that because i do really love doing makeup just don't know if I'll be any good at the tutorial side to be honest but so I've got a couple of outfits to shoot I desperately need to clean like my beauty blenders and my makeup brushes so I can show you how I do that um it's dead easy to be honest there's not really that much to show and then I'm hoping that my nail stuff arrives today so that I can finally sort these monstrosities out because honestly it's got to the point with them now where you know where your nails actually start to hurt I can't make a face because they're actually the acrylics are actually hurting me. So I desperately want to get them off. Um, so yeah, hopefully well, that stuff arrives today so I can take these off and put, well not put new ones on, actually do gel now. I don't know how I'm going to get on with doing these gel nails, you know, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do them. This could be a complete and utter disaster. I've also got to that point in my makeup where everything seems to be running out at the same time. Do you ever find that? Like I'm scraping the barrel on my foundation. This mascara has absolutely had it. So yeah, I'm going to go and stick some lashes on now. I'm going to shoot what I need to shoot. And then I need to clean my brushes and then, and then I'm going to attempt to do my nails. Are you having a bath? Oh, look. Are you having a nice bath, darling? Is the temperature okay for you? Wash your head. Hello. Is that okay for you, madam? She hates us. Oh no, look at this little drown rat. <laughs> little feet. How was that for you? <laughs> Do you think you need a brush now? Wow. Do I need to give you a brush as well now? Poor? <laughs> Look what's arrived. So yeah, my lamp's come. My nail varnish has arrived, so... Tomorrow we're getting rid of these. So I just thought I'd do a quick unboxing. I was sent this parcel today. Um, let's ignore the nails by the way. I decided to clip them down because I had acrylics on. They're obviously a lot longer than my normal nails. My normal nails? My real nails. So I just got the nail clippers and clipped them off. So they're looking a little bit weird but they're coming off tonight. So that's the next job. Anyway, I woke up this morning and I was feeling really rubbish. I think it's the first day since lockdown. I just felt like I really couldn't be bothered. Um, so I didn't do any work today. I wrote the day off. 
and I just thought, do you know what, I'm not going to feel guilty for it. Usually I'm, ri I'm absolutely riddled with guilt if I don't do any work. I'm so bad for it. So I haven't done a thing today and then I was sent this parcel and it just really cheered me up. So it's from uh, 365. Um, sent me a really cute card and they've sent me some pyjamas which I'm so excited about because I washed my bed sheets today so I've got a clean bed and new pyjamas. It's like Christmas. Also vitamin E um, face mask from the body shop. Another couple of bits from the body shop. The body shop do some really really nice things. I've never tried something from there and not liked it or had a bad reaction to it so really happy with these little goodies um also i actually i know I'm, i sound so stupid i actually had to google what this was I, because i was like it's all in french i was like is this rose water is it wine and then i checked and it does have alcohol in it it's rose in a can how cool is that so i've decided i'm gonna have a bath and enjoy both of them why not in here how sweet is a little vegan um, brownie in there from the vegan bake so i'm actually going to have that now with a cup of tea why not and also really cute little daily like journal diary with my initials on so such a nice parcel to be surprised with today it came at just the right time so i was so grateful for this today so thank you so much for sending me this and now I'm going to have a tea, I'm going to eat my brownie, and then I'm going to run myself a bath, I'm going to use my new stuff, put my new pyjamas on, and then I'm going to get in bed and watch Disney. Morning. So I did my nails last night, and they did not go well. I am not going to be retraining as a nail tech anytime soon. Let me show you how bad they are. I mean, can you actually see the state of them? <laughs> So yeah, that didn't really go to plan. So instead I've messaged my friend's nail tech. So what she's doing at the moment, um, I'll link her Instagram in the description box. She's actually making sort of like stick on nails in whatever design you want. So you can choose a design off a page or just send her a design that you might have seen um, and she'll send you um, stick on nails. So there's all like the different sizes on there. She shows you how to do it on there. So sort of you measure your nails and stuff so that you know they're gonna fit. So I gave her a message and said you you need to help me yeah she's gonna send me some stick on nails this week so i am gonna get rid of these monstrosities because honestly i'm so embarrassed it genuinely looks like i've got a toddler to paint them for me as a joke and this was me and my best attempt so i'm not going to be sticking these out i am going to be using the stick on nails that arrive so i'll show you them they're in a really cute design as well so i'll show you them when they arrive and i'll put those on so i can at least look a little bit presentable also the hair the hair is becoming a problem so by now it would have been usually this week that i would have had my extensions taken out so i have tape extensions so with tapes um usually what happens is i have them taken out and then i'll have new ones put in so i'm at the point now where they should have been taken out so basically my tapes are coming so far down my head so if you do see them just sticking out in videos i'm so sorry but i am trying to just get every last little hour out of them that i can but i know next week 100 i'm gonna have to take them out um which will be fun oh well there are worse things going on than my nails and my hair but for now what i'm doing is i'm just about to film a video that's going to be going up tomorrow and then i'm gonna have some lunch and then i think i'm gonna make some cakes because what else is it to do i really wanted to make you know the primary school cake you know that cake you used to have at primary school with sprinkles on you used to have it with custard i really wanted to make some of that but i couldn't get the ingredients so i went to the next best thing and i bought ingredients to make chocolate rice crispy cakes so i'm going to do that instead so yeah that'll be my day and then later tonight or oh, every week so there's this guy on facebook i can't remember his name so there's this guy he goes on facebook so he goes on facebook live and he does a pub quiz like every thursday so we do it at eight o'clock and we've done it now for the last two weeks me and andy have we just sit and have a drink and do it so we're going to do it again tonight which will be fun and then yeah that's my day so i'll check in with you a bit later just finished filming for the day so now it's time to make some cakes let's go downstairs where has my little doggy gone hello are you coming down so it is now time to make some cakes because why not why not let me find somewhere to put you 
so that you're sitting nice and comfortably. I think I'm gonna put you here. Is that okay for you? I mean, I'm sure we all know how to make Rice Krispie Cakes by now. Let's get, oh, Rice Krispies. Got some chocolate. Also, when Andy popped the shops to get our food shop, I asked him to grab me some little, you know, fairy cake cases. And he came up with these. Like, what even are, they're like muffin cases. Look at the size of them. They're like actual little cups. I thought he bought, bought like shop cups or something back. But look at them. So they're gonna be more like Rice Krispie Cake mountains rather than fairy cake. So that's what we're going with. turned out look at the size of them they are literally like rice crispy muffins but how nice i can't wait to eat them so i'm gonna put them in the fridge let them set and then oh cup of tea rice crispy cake so i've now got myself a lovely orange juice and i'm gonna go and sit in the garden because the weather is beautiful so i'm gonna sit in the garden edit my video and get it up for tonight so i'll check in with you a little bit later well, I look absolutely mental. Can't get my mouth through the mask. Eh. I've got my new pyjamas on and I'm in bed. It's only half past eight, but I don't care. I've got my cup of tea. I'm gonna watch Ozark and just have a nice early night. And this is actually coming off and now. It's probably about time I took this off. Uh, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here now, guys. I'm gonna try and get this video up tomorrow for you. Tomorrow is Easter, so happy Easter to you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!